Check out how I made this cute little toy soldier for my grandbaby. Right here in the world. Okay guys, so I started out with two toy soldiers. They're actually the Christmas ornaments, or I guess you would call them the door hangers from the Dollar Tree. Um, I also use some zip ties, some hot glue. Um, I have a few pieces of wood. Those are from a different craft that I had, as well as um, one of the fairy lights. So as you can see, I'm gluing the wood pieces together and the point of it is to make a base so when I'm finished with my toy soldier it would have a place to rest um but you'll see how all of that is going again my faithful little hot glue gun um I've had this actually I got it from the thrift store so I don't know how much it costs or what even the brand is but I got it from the thrift store and then um, I'm just stacking it. So just continue to watch and see how I put this together. And of course, it was a last minute idea. I'm always thinking about stuff. I look at things and I analyze it. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me try this. Now, to be fair with my own process of thinking, I did mirror these two pieces together while I was in the Dollar Tree just to see if it would, you know, give me what I was thinking. So right here, I'm just cutting off that little round hook piece that's on there that holds the actual string so that you'll be able to hang it on the door or on the tree or whatever you want to do. And like I mentioned, these are my fairy lights. And I got the ones with the multiple colors just to, you know, add a little more to the colors that are on this toy soldier because it's blue, red, black, um and white is the colors that it's made that the soldiers made up of and then of course the fairy lights are red yellow blue and green so you can see i'm just hot gluing the wire i'm mashing the lights in and i'm just hot gluing the actual wire so that um it doesn't move around and as i continue to put this uh item together you'll see that it's a little tedious because, you know, like I know that those fairy lights are so tiny and they have no weight to them. So, you know, you got to just be real careful and, of course, real patient when you're dealing with that hot glue. But overall, I'm excited about um, this little idea I came up with. No, I didn't watch a YouTube video or saw it on TV or anything. I simply just went in the store, the Dollar Tree, like I said, and was looking at what they had. And I was like, oh, okay, well, let me get these two. And they mirrored. Now, I have looked at other pieces like the cars and the candy canes and stuff. And, of course, because, one, they're going in two different directions. Um, you can't match them up and put them together and do what I'm doing. But, you know, I was pretty excited when I found that this would actually be something that I can work with and I like to work with the lights on the string lights on when I'm doing a project just so that I can get a good look of how it's going to lay one two to make sure that it's not defective so that you know I hadn't wasted all of my time and putting this thing together and then I got to take it apart and three it just brings joy when you see you know them bright lights and stuff you get a little excited like oh yeah this is coming along good so check it out you'll see why i got it okay so now i'm just trying to find a base for the actual light and of course you'll see that this idea is going to change real soon there we go with the top layer so originally i was going to hot glue the pieces together that was my my first plan but ugh. Yeah, I had to come up with something a little bit better because that glue is so hot and you want your item to be laid as evenly as possible. So I found that the zip ties would do that for me. Yeah, so just stay tuned while I'm just threading the zip ties through here on both ends. making it tight and then you can see how I'm just trying to make sure that everything is is properly lined up so yeah this was a, a good little find here 
Okay, almost done. One more. I think I need to put one at the top. So, mm, let's see how we're going to do that. But I thought this was just so, 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 so cute. Hang in there with me. So now, I'm um, sorry that you can't see it, but I'm just trying to fit the, okay, trying to fit the, um, the battery pack in the bottom. And you see it went in there snug. So I don't think I'm going to be able to use this little platform that I've made because I want to be able to have access to the battery pack, you know, in case you need to change the battery out and stuff like that turn it off and on so yeah I'm gonna just add a zip top to the to the top and the good thing about this um, material I, I don't know the name of the material that this thing is made out of but what I do like about it is that it's you know it's forgiving it hides um, when you put your zip ties in there so they don't have to be perfectly lined up or anything like that they just need to be on there okay and let's go ahead and snip those extra pieces off of here. And so you see, I was going to put it on this base, but like I said, I won't have access to the battery pack. So I decided that wasn't going to work. And boop, here we go. This is good enough. Now I am going to add some, some glue onto this battery pack because I don't want it to accidentally slide out when... Grandbaby decided he wants to play with it and turn it off and on. So that's going to be the most hot glue we use on this project right here. Uh, yeah. And see how when you put the pieces together, it gives the perfect little, little hole. So you can put them in there and just hold it for a few seconds with that hot glue. You know, and just mash it down and that's it. That is it, and if you stay tuned, I'm going to turn off the light so you can check it out. And then, of course, you know I got to go put it in the room, so I got it in his room waiting on him. He absolutely loved it. Right here in the world.